Breaking news into CBS Sports HQ. The Phoenix Suns have fired head coach Monty Williams. Our NBA insider Bill Ryder confirming postseason expectations were high for Phoenix after acquiring KD Kevin Durant from the Brooklyn Nets midseason. But after getting eliminated in the second round by the Nuggets, new old governor Matt Ishbia decided to make a change. Williams leaves after four seasons with the Suns. Had a record of 194 and 115. Let's go ahead and bring in our CBS Sports NBA uh, insider, uh, there is Bill Ryder. And, and Bill, your reaction here, Monty Williams at the four seasons there, took the Suns to an NBA Finals back in 2021. But I guess it's those last couple of years, they're a big loss at home to the Dallas Mavericks last year, a 33-point home loss. And then, of course, this season to the Denver Nuggets, a 25-point loss. How much did that play into this and Monty Williams being uh, shown the door by the Suns? Yeah, Larry, my understanding of the conversations that I had the last few days and the text messages I'm trying to get out and, and get back in the last few minutes is that's more, I think, of, of an excuse for a change that ownership wanted to make. Obviously, Matt Ishbia took this team over not that long ago. We saw Isaiah Thomas, the Hall of Famer, sitting next to him at some of those games. As I understand it from sources, Isaiah Thomas will be heavily involved in one way or another in directing this organization. And we know in any business, our business, sports business, the NBA, anything, when there's a change of ownership, when there's a change of bosses, when there's a change of leadership, they often want their own people and to bring in their own folks. And I think Monty Williams is just the victim of that reality and those losses and that playoff loss gave this front office and this new ownership group, I think, the excuse and the opportunity to make the change they probably wanted to make all along. Yeah, you look at Match Ishby, of course, played at Michigan State. We saw the, the sort of uh, interaction they had there with the Joker during the playoffs with holding the ball uh, and things of that nature. Uh, what do you think his philosophy is, and why would he make a change like this? I know new owners want to make a change, but what is he trying to get here? Is it just because they got KD and they feel like maybe they need a new voice there in the Valley of the Sun? Yeah, I don't know enough about Ishbia yet and, and his tenure being so short to, to tell you what his philosophy is. But he's been pretty vocal. And you're right, there, there's the Jokic moment, just some of his interviews and his conversations with, with the press. He's been pretty upfront that he's going to be very, very involved. And again, it is very natural for people, especially billionaires, but even people who aren't billionaires, who are used to running things, to want to run things with their own co coach and, and, and their own folks. I mean, I, I, honestly, Larry, I, I heard a week or two ago just some scuttlebutt that this was a possibility. And, and you hear rumors all the time in, in my position talking to folks around the NBA. I didn't believe it. I mean, I, it made sense. I understand these things happen, but I thought, man, Monty Williams, what, two-time coach of the year. believe he has the best coaching record in the NBA over the last couple years. He's really, really well-respected and really beloved, not by DeAndre Hayton, but by most of the people <laughs> that are in that organization, in that locker room. And, and, and so, But it turned out it was true. And I, again, I, I think this is not about a philosophical disagreement. I don't think Ishbia looked at, at Monty Williams and said, oh, I want something different. I think Ishbia looked at this and said, I want my own person. And again, he has surrounded himself with different people. Isaiah Thomas, uh, obviously a Hall of Famer, former GM, former coach, uh, has had a spotty track record, but I think he's done a pretty nice job in those situations at times, despite the narrative now. Uh, I know sources tell me that some of Isaiah Thomas's people have already been brought into the front office kind of quietly. So you have a new group of people who are starting to take over. Obviously, James Jones is still there. But I think this is directed by Ishbia. I don't think it's a philosophical paradigm shift. I think it's a guy who's got a bunch of money that bought a team that wants to do things his way and probably believes that he can bring in somebody better than the last regime. Bill, we live in an instant coffee sort of world here, instant coffee uh, generation here. What have you done for me lately? We saw Bud get fired by uh, the Milwaukee Bucks after winning a title a couple years ago, beat Monty Williams and those Phoenix Suns, uh, came back and won the last four games in 2021. Uh, how much did that sort of play into this uh, sort of narrative that, hey, it's about what you've done lately, and uh, for Monty Williams, uh, there hasn't been a lot lately for the Phoenix Suns uh, with the roster that they have constructed there? It, it, it's a lot of it. And look, I, I don't know because I have not heard back from sources. I don't know who Phoenix is targeting. I, I don't know. But to, to your point, I mean, Mike, Mike Budenholzer has won an NBA championship. Nick Nurse, who's available, has won an NBA championship. Monty Williams has not won an NBA championship as a head coach, but, but he's very well regarded. So maybe we'll have some other teams be surprising in who, who they fire because there are some really nice choices that are out there. And you're right. It's a very instant coffee, as you said, what have you done the last 30 seconds reality? And sometimes organizations overreact and just decide that they can find the grass is going to be greener somewhere else. We'll see if that's true in Toronto. We'll see if that's true in Milwaukee. We're certainly going to see if that's true in Phoenix. I will say this in defense of Monty Williams and life isn't fair. I get it. This is the way the world works. But they brought in Kevin Durant, traded away all their depth. And anyone who's ever been around the NBA knows. And every GM told, would have told you if you asked him like I did, players would have told you. 
that the Suns were very unlikely to make a deep run this year because literally no team has ever made a trade of that magnitude and been able to win with a handful of games as a group in the regular season. This was this Suns experiment was always going to be predicated, I think, Larry, and most people around the NBA think, I want to happen next year when a coach can get in camp, when these guys can get used to each other, where Durant and this group can just figure out how to play together. So fair or not fair, Damani Williams, I, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is shocked, and this becomes, at least for my money, as good as that Milwaukee job is, mm -hmm. maybe the best job in the NBA that, that's open right now because you have Kevin Durant, you have Devin Booker. I mean, you're talking two legitimate superstars. I know there's cap issues coming up. I know there's not a lot of depth, but you've got two of the best, whatever, 10, 15 players in the game. I mean, this is a this is a great job and a great opportunity for whoever they eventually turn to. A very attractive job. Real quickly, before I let you get out of here, Bill, I'm going to, going to throw some names at you. What about Bud, Nick Nurse? What about Ty Lue? We're hearing about his name and the Clippers. Maybe he wants to get out of that situation uh, with, uh, with those two uh, players that they have there uh, with the claw and also uh, PG uh, being hurt the last few seasons. What are you hearing about that? Oh, I haven't heard anything about Ty Lue, but I think it's, it's, it's excellent speculation. I mean, I certainly have talked to people who are under the impression that, that Ty Lue might be interested in seeing if there's a better situation somewhere else. And again, to what I just said, we just talked about, uh, this is the best job that's out there. So if it is true, and I've certainly heard that, that Ty Lue's got a bit of a wandering eye and he's tired of load management university over here, not far from me with, with the Clippers, I, as good as that Milwaukee job is, as interesting to a lesser degree as Toronto is, depending on how you think that roster is going to shape out, the, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, that is a really, maybe Chris Paul, we'll see whether he's there next year. That's a really nice group to, to build around. I think Ty Lue or any, literally any coach or would-be coach in the NBA who is looking for a job is going to look lovingly and longingly at the Phoenix Suns. Very attractive job with KD and Book. We saw what they were able to do uh, in the playoffs. Went to the finals uh, just two seasons ago. Monty Williams fired after four seasons with the Phoenix Suns. You'll see various sports. NBA insider Bill Ryder. Bill, really appreciate you joining us here at a last minute's notice. Here you can see Suns up playoff exits under Monty Williams. We just saw one a couple days ago, Thursday in the Valley of the Sun. They lost that series four games to two, six games to the Denver Nuggets, who are the top seed in the Western Conference Finals. Got beat by 25 there uh, in Phoenix in the Valley of the Sun. Then we mentioned last year, Western Conference semifinals, game seven on their home court, and they get blown out by Luka and the Mavs, 123-90. to That's a 33-point loss. NBA Finals two seasons ago, 2021, up 2-0 against the Milwaukee Bucks. Lose the final four games to Giannis. We remember the 50-point game and the Bucks winning their first title uh, in almost 50 years. Monty Williams out with the Phoenix Suns after four seasons in the Valley of the Sun.